she poppy 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 pop keep pass a sock pass what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz this one is called mana plan got a wipe out whenever you dig one hole make sure say dig two because same thing that you plan for someone else, it can happen to you. It seems as if these criminal elements, they've been getting all sorts of L's. And when I say L's, I mean loss, most importantly, loss of life. At least three incidents back to back to back. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in Old Arbor where a man was taken out by a licensed firearm holder, Paul Paul, that was off duty. I am speaking about that incident in which a known gunman from Montego Bay 2014 was in some sorts of taxi and two people roll up on a bike, blaze up the taxi, 2014 was hit. However, the Paul Paul that was off duty saw exactly what was going on, light up the bike one of the man upon the bike drop off he was out he was a hit man fast forward a couple of days ago in our place called westmoreland little london to be specific we saw that two gunmen went for a lady her name is lottie blaze up lottie hit lottie about four times or so a man in a some sorts of vehicle saw exactly what was transpiring lit down the man them off of the bike the gun and everything fly out of them and them run as some sorts of bush. The fact that they were injured. The people them catch them. The people them lost up one of them. The next one was rescued by the poor poor. He avoided the Tarzan and Jean type of justice. Fast forward less than 24 hours ago. It is said that a businessman from Highgate. He left. He went to the bank. He went to the bank, he picked up a manager's check. However, to be decent, they gave him the manager's check in a some sorts of envelope. Two men seems to have been there, don't know if it was random or somebody, maybe the lady from the bank, the teller from the bank, called them and spot them off. Well, it could not be the teller from the bank. I think that they were just doing their random spot a lion, scope out a victim kind of ish. When the man pick up the envelope that is in Port Maria, that is in St. Mary, jump in I'm car, drive to Highgate. While he was entering his house in a Highgate, him hear two men behind him, a rush come towards him, a call out, don't know if they call his name. Him run out of the house, the wife shut the door. He is also a license fire piece holder. Him blaze up two cars through the window, the man them run, take what himself. Those men, at least one of them got hit and this is how he got hit. There was a license fire piece hole in a place called Lewis store that is in St. Mary also. I guess he heard explosions coming from that license fire piece hole in which them tried to rush and rob. He was alert, he came out. Him have him told him and a six sire to be specific. Or a rogue, sorry, one of them. He saw the men running down the road after the man blazed up some car in the ear, them get scared. He ma asked everything alright. He was trying to be a good Samaritan. However, the two men that was running from the scene of a crime, attempted crime, them blazed up some car after him. However, people, you know with these crim criminal elements, they only have on the job shooting experience, so therefore a press and joke. Anybody that knows anything about Target or S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G or even go out of range, you know that that is not effective S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. However, the man who is a large fire piece holder and also a businessman took his stance, took his pose and blazed up some can after the two men hitting one of them. Don't know if the other one got hit. If he was injured, that man fell. The tool also fell from his hand. The tool was retrieved by that licensed firearm holder slash businessman. Now along with these are these incidents, there are at least 
three videos and people just like what happened in Little London in a West Milan where the people wanted to take out the one survivor of the hitman that took away Lati. The people was out for this man too while he was laying on the ground obviously couldn't run because he was injured all sorts of BLOO deep on the floor over him clothes. In a West Milan, they had all sorts of farm utensils, like I said, they had taken away his accomplice before and they wanted to take him away to the next person, Hitman number two. However, the Pope was on the spot, unfortunately, and foiled the Tarzan and Jean type of ish. In a this case now, this man dip on the ground, but he did something very strange while he was on the ground. While the poor poor came and while the residents wanted to take him away, did not see as much farm utensil, so maybe they were not as serious as the people from Little London in West Milan. However, had the police not showed up early, maybe this man would be also gone. Don't know if that would have happened, but maybe it is a strong possibility. Now, like me say, three videos, two of the videos are like the same. Him dep on the ground and the people him ask him, ah, who are you come? Where are you coming at? What type of vehicle you drove? He did not hesitate. He was telling them, is a kingfish, is this type of vehicle, whatever he said. Don't remember the particular or the specifics. He must say, and me and the next man, them ask him, who for a vehicle? He was willing to give the name of the person that sent him. He was willing to tell his name and where the next person was, his accomplice. His accomplice happened to be his brother. One of them name is Bolo. Them government name, surname, Edwards. So people, two brothers went on a mission. Now people, do you realize when you look at these people, I don't know how they exist in the criminal world because when you look upon them, it is as if you are watching some sorts of video from these hyena that I always speak about from the Serengeti. Them just look thief. Them just look like a criminal. Them just look suspicious. If there was a picture for suspicion, this man would look just like it. And he looks like most of the other criminals with the exception that they are bleached out and people. I am not saying everybody that bleach is a criminal, but me just as say. 99% of the time, whenever you see the criminals, them always tattoo up, them always braid up, them always bleach out. So I just as say, it is facts that is out there based on mugshots that we've seen, based on videos and pictures that we've seen of persons that made it or did not made it on their on-the-job experience. There was a particular thing that I heard in one of those videos. It is said that the man smashed the phone, meaning the man that was conned up by the licensed fire piece holder. Apparently, he was trying to avoid all that he was in contact with. Me no know if somebody at the bank inside and a scope out and a watch and saw when the man pick up the envelope because more than likely, had it been any sorts of teller, she or he would have told them that, listen, a uh, money check, cashier's check, or manager check him get. So therefore, cancel or abort the mission. Maybe he was calling the purse that sent him on the mission. And maybe he did not want the popo to retrieve the phone. And call or trace back the call and see who he is in league with. Who are his combolos, his cronies. People, me not really know. All I know that in three separate incidents, all Arbor. Little London, West Milan, and then this place in a St. Mary, Lewis store. These people pretty much run up in a some sorts of bad luck. Una get S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L-E-D get injured. Everybody I beg for them life. Everybody I talk. And one thing that is very consistent, luckily for Jamaica in all of these incidents, is that when them buck up in a license fire piece holder, when them buck up in a poor poor whether on the job or off duty, usually they end up on the S H I T T Y end of the stick. So when we hear people attack 
and people are say Jamaica have the most serious gunmen. People, yes, it is easy when you have a toll and you pull up on unsuspecting innocent people going about their merry job. However, whenever there's any sorts of resistance like berries, it does not turn out for these criminals. What we've also learned, they are bad S-H-O-O-T and even worse, they are weak, they are cowards, them always a beg for them life. Them always a give away whoever send them. So people, what this tells you, it is always easy to be bad when you have your tool. However, when a next man have his tool and there's any sorts of dispute, any sorts of smoke, do you really want smoke? Are you going to get smoke? But unfortunately for the legal law-abiding taxpaying citizens of Jamaica, this licensed fire peace holder was doing the right thing, going by the book. Him can him up, him fall, him retrieve the toll. However, the regular Jamaicans would hope that, listen, why didn't he just take him out? Why couldn't one or two of those S-H-O-T-S end up in I'm crown or in I'm heart? Take him away off the spots. Two brother, two of them are criminal. Two go per mission. I am speaking about Bolo and his brother Edwards. People, it is a sad state of affair in Jamaica. The people, we are all at the mercy of these criminals. And hopefully or luckily, you always have some people dip on the spots. Like I said, the law of possibility and probability and even better karma always plays out. Every day that the bucket goes to the well, one day the bottom I go fall out. In three of these incidents, couple of people fall out, couple of them get injured. A whole lot of people taken to the big yard. Most of them or all of them should have been taken to the graveyard point blank and period further on in the news they say that jamaica is one of the leading places as it pertains to shuttles crime and violence however it is also the epicenter of shutter drivers these are people that think that they can go a million miles an hour and everything is going to happen okay however in almost 400 almost 500 cases annually We've seen that that is not the fact. I am going to show you a video of a man that was on Hagley Park Road. He claimed that some sorts of driver in a Honda bad drive him and end up sending him in at the median, pan top of the median, close to the pole or on the pole. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Yo, watch this. Hagley Park Road is watch this part up be my yard. I be my day, day up on the island, straight my life go, such a this is normal brother. See I own the bad driving. I own the bad driving much. Now it seems as if when somebody came up with that quote of what the F U C K It seems as if we always have some double T F moment in our Jamaica. Because you have to ask a question. When you think about a median, it kind of elevated maybe about three foot or so in the air. So how is it possible for a vehicle to end up on top right by the pole? I guess the pole stopped it from going any sorts of further. But like the man said, somebody bad drive him. Don't you always realize that these people are in denial? Whenever them are speed, whenever them hype, whenever there's any sorts of adrenaline rush and then the vehicle flip over and them K-I-L-L innocent people, them always a blame the other guy. Him claims that somebody in a some sorts of Honda. Now people, I was not there, so I can't say it never happened. But people, more than likely, people always want to blame the next person. Never want to take responsibility in the fact that you are selfish, in the fact that you are reckless. Most of the time, that is the reason, point blank and period. Further on in the news, if you remember last month or so in our place called Westmoreland, 
a popo was riding on his bike coming from one of those weekend shows when him running on some sorts of cow up on the highway. Investigations told you that, listen, this has been happening for a very long time, a couple of years, maybe a couple of decades. However, in the last week or so when that popo lost his life, at least three or four other instances. We heard the relevant authority came out and them say, listen, this is very serious. We cannot afford for our residents, our citizens to lose their life in such reckless way. So therefore, we are going to get a pound. We are going to get into some sort of contractual agreements and we are going to put these cows where they belong and the people that own them that are negligent and reckless, they will have to pay some sorts of big fine or even get some sorts of lawsuit for the loss of lives that could have easily been prevented. People, that was about a month or so ago. We understand in a Jamaica, it is nine day talk. Do the mathematics, nine days is shorter than a month. That means uh, the people, them. forget about that. Fast forward in a place called Spot Valley or a place called Ryan Park that is in Montego Bay. I am not speaking about no highway in the middle of nowhere headed towards Negril. May I talk about Moby? Look at what is going on. These are two videos of some cows in a, a residential area. Just a walk and a turn over the garbage like dog. People, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my peace. You see there? A garbage that in a scheme that uh, other people had. You see? You see how they operate? And people have never sit near a room road. You see what I go on? See? Now, people, when we think about our little island, Jamaica. It seems as if even if the sim even the simplest things cannot get managed. It is as if everything is just a free for all. It is a anyway, anything goes place. So therefore anybody can just have them dog, let them out for B I T E of people, little picnic. And we see that there is many instances in which that happen where people have to go overseas to get all sorts of life saving surgery. So in West Milan, back to back to back to back, them come out and them talk big. They are going to do something to monitor the whole situation. This cannot happen. Fast forward less than a month after, at least four or five people lose them life. People get hurt. Decades of the same thing. It seems as if them not learn nothing. Fast forward, Ryan Park, Spot Valley, in the middle of a residential era in a Montego Bay, a disagoan. Can you believe it? Everything in a Jamaica cannot be that bad. Everything cannot be this mismanaged and people it is. Sad to say. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.